What's up guys, my name is Elder. And today we are going to be making our own custom brush. But not that type of brush, this type of brush. Wait, but still not a brush. It's actually a digital pen. We are going to be making a digital brush. So let's jump right into it. So, this whole idea actually started when I was over on Twitch. I was browsing through the art section looking for people to watch live streaming their art. And I stumbled upon this Korean guy creating a comic. As I was watching his comic, his creations, masterpieces, exquisite pieces of art, I decided, hey, maybe as a YouTube. So I clicked over to his YouTube and found a video. Once I found that video, I was like, oh, this is interesting. He was creating brush, his own brush, both with rocks. And I was like, I could do that too. But I don't understand anything he's talking about because it's in Korean. So let me look up another place to see if I can find out how to actually do it. What other better place to look it up on other than YouTube? So I decided to go in and type in how to make my own scatter brushes for paint tool side. And I stumbled across the video. I clicked the first video and it was actually pretty helpful. But that's when the first annoyance began to occur. I did exactly what the video said. I went into my documents folder, found my uh, systematic software, so my paint tool size folder, went all into the folders and hit scatter. And then I selected the star formation and I colored that all black because I needed the template to be able to actually use it to create my masterpiece that you see right now. So as you can see my masterpiece right here, this is actually in black and white because this actually is how it was originally like with the star and it actually needs to be like this for paint tool side to read it. This is a BMP file. BMP is what the paint tool side uses to read said objects like the scatters and different brushes so you can use them in actual utilage. But I ran into another problem. To be fair, the issue that I was having was actually explained in her video that if you save it as a BMP file within uh, Paint Tool Sci 2, it actually doesn't work for whatever reason. Me thinking that this wouldn't be an issue because I have a newer version of Paint Tool Sci 2 that has been updated, I might be able to get away with it. But no, I was wrong. You see, what happens is that you actually get a stupid little thing saying, oh, this is not in grayscale. So to fix that, you have to go to paint.net and download that and actually open it up and uh, save it as a BMP file under their settings. For whatever reason, that then works. So I did that and it allowed me to open up the file. Of course, I've also did the little cheat she was mentioning in her video that you had to take over the I in whatever file and then just rename it to the current file that you're trying to make your own of the rock face one and it worked pretty well but it didn't now for whatever reason when you actually do that way sometimes it actually does a little glitch so this glitch actually makes it so it's not as uh, dark as it should be to counteract that I had to download another program GIMP now GIMP is a pretty large program but it did its job it gave me the BMP file that I wanted a nice dark crisp BMP file that I can make my rocks however I want them but then I noticed something else that I wasn't too happy about so remember when I said that it only runs in grayscale that's only true to a certain extent it only runs in grayscale when it wants to run into grayscale meaning that the black and white that you saw earlier of the rock that's the only grayscale that it will run if you try adding other grays and stuff to it even though it's on the grayscale spectrum it won't read it for whatever reason I don't know why and that bugged me because I couldn't get a background as you can see here I'm actually drawing with the uh the scatter brush I created uh and it is actually overlapping because it doesn't have a background it makes it so that the lines are overlapping that causes for a contention in uh what i actually wanted it to do so i was like you know what fuck paint tool sai or at least for custom brushes i'm still going to be using paint tool sai as my drawing app of choice because it's amazing for that but I'm going to be using a different program, Affinity Designer, to make my custom brushes for my comic. Did you know I have a comic? I actually have a comic that's over on SionXAwakening.com where you can read it or you can read it on Webtoons, Tapas, and you can even see a nice little animation thing promoting it on screen right now. So if you want to go over and read my comic and see what I'm up to, go over there and check it out. All right, I digress. Back to the video. And this whole honestly was the best decision ever. So I did a little bit more research to see how I can actually create these rocks, which actually tend to be a little bit different 
and a lot more easier and it lets you use some type of color. It doesn't have to be in grayscale. So I found a video on YouTube that's stating how to create your own brushes and then I just watched like 10 seconds of it, clicked off of it because I got all I need to know. I went into the little area where I could do the drawings, not the vector one, but the drawings and I created a new brush set. I renamed the brush set to custom brushes. Who would have guessed? Original name. I know I'm amazing, but I digress. After I created that category, I clicked the exact same button I used to create that category and click image brush. I wanted to do an image brush because image brushes allow you to use PNG files that you have like transparent backgrounds, preferably transparent backgrounds, and then turn them into brushes themselves. But before I did that, I went on to paint tool side and mocked up the uh, brushes that I wanted to make, aka the PNG files of these rocks that you see right now on screen. Now, after you upload the uh, images, the PNG files into the brush, you can upload a bunch of them and they'll let you choose from which ones you want to use for whatever pressure and stuff like that. But I decided to mess around with the settings and see what I could do from there. There's a lot of settings that you can optimize and make it exactly how you want the brush to turn out. But as you can see, I decided to do scatter because scatter is the original brush I wanted to create and because it's going to be the uses for my comic, all these brushes that I create in the future more than just these rock brushes will also be used for the comic. You see, this is all for the comic, honestly, to make it so it's easier for me to do like debris and stuff like that, things breaking and not having to redraw all those tiny little rocks over and over again. I have a random customized brush now to do it. I will now show you it actually in action in how this could be a practical use for the comic, just so I'm not just telling you. I'm actually showing you. As you can see, I am doing a bunch of uh, different little debris because I could just drag the brush and then it is what it is. The debris comes out different rotated rocks. So it's not looking all the same. It's all different angles and it looks like a new perspective. And because I have four different images, it makes it look all like really random in that it again, doesn't look the same. That was the whole goal of it. Now, another practical use for this is actually not just for debris if someone is like an earth uh magic type person they can have like the earth coming up around them and then i can blur it if i don't want it to be in focus and stuff like that and make it a cool effect and I, it saves me so much time honestly so much time you can also resize it because i have such a high definition uh, picture of png that it's able to be resized to like pretty much any size without it looking weird to make it easier to make like bigger rocks and stuff like that for backgrounds or if a bigger rock is being thrown somewhere or whatever have you not it just makes it easier and you could scale it down too and it still looks pretty good you could also just tap it and then it will give you a random rock you don't have to like drag the pencil and it to give you a bunch of random rocks you could just tap on the screen in various places and it'll give you a random rock in a random rotation that's that i'm very happy with how this turned out uh i'm a little bit sad in that paint tool side didn't actually have what i was looking for they should probably update that pretty soon because it's kind of a good feature to have and i will definitely be making more brushes in the future whether it be with paint tool side or opinion design if paint tool side is implemented like i said they should probably do that pretty soon because it's a good feature but I will definitely be doing it in Affinity Design. I'll just be using both programs more actively than I have been, other than just using it for text. And with that said, I would like to thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different, a different editing style. I'll be continuously changing up my editing style just to see uh, what sticks for me personally, what I like the best, and what is more time relevant for me to produce videos and such. Also, don't forget to check out my social media. You see an animation playing right now. You can go to my Instagram and stuff like that and check it out over there. I also go live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Island Draws. You can find it linked down below in the description. You can also see it on the screen right now. Anyways, again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Peace. Woohoo! Bye bye.